Okay, hey, let me tell you people something about these little air tanks that you mount the tire on the rim with. You know, your tire's going to be on your rim loosely, and everybody else makes this sound like they're building a rocket ship. Here's, here's five easy things. Here's your on-off valve. This brings your air into this tank. If this is turned with the pipe, this blue handle, if it's going along with it, you've got the air flowing. That's open. That's closed. If it's going 90 degrees to the pipe of air that's coming into the tank. That's the basic with this. Also, this is the same concept. This is closed because this T handle is 90 degrees off the pipe. And then, of course, if I pull it down, this is now opening and letting all the contents of this tank into the tire. Stick this edge on the beam. Step with your foot on the edge of the tire pushing the tire down a little bit so you can get your air in there. When you push this in, it's going to pop you off of there because of the pressure. Also, nobody mentions you have to leave your little dinky tire valve in the tire when you use this. So, put your, hell, put your cap on the tire. Put that valve back in. Then use this. And I only brought mine up to two a minute ago. In the green. A lot of these yucca pucks are bringing it up to the red. They're going to blow their house down. I brought this sucker up to two a minute ago. With your little dinky valve. Back in the tire. Valve. Make sure the valve's in there. You can put your little cap on there if you want to. You're going to have to take it back off and put more air in. And this will do what it typically does. It will get about 18 pounds of air in that tire. Um, and it will seal it on the rim. It also look like this. Get some eye protection and some ear protection. You'll blast your ears out with that tank when you let it go. And it kicks up a lot of dirt. You, you don't want to be shy when you're down there with your face right near that valve turning it on. You want to be protected and uh, fearless basically. Alright, so that's how you use that tank. You know, bring it up to two. Stick it down in there. Little edge on the rim of the tire. Let it go and it will seal it. And then you can add your tire pressure. I usually run mine at 38 like most of the um, racing circuits by.